coffee shops for quality of coffee as well as to see if it's a good spot for you to go study as a student at Yale or whether you're visiting New Haven. We're going to be starting off with Coffee Peddler, which is one of the best spots in East Rock, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go. All right, so overall, Chanel and I decided that we really liked the coffee at Coffee Peddler and ended up giving it a four. For food, we gave it a 2.5 because they didn't have very many options and it's not a spot that I would say you would meet up with friends for lunch or anything. It's just a place that has some little snacks and pastries and a bagel. In terms of aesthetic, I'd say it's a really cute coffee shop, but I'm gonna give it a mid-tier rating as a three study spot. I'd give it a 2.5. There's not a bunch of comfortable seating. It is a place that you can probably go study for an hour or two, but not for the whole day. And then I would also say the coffee peddler is one of the best spots to meet up with friends or to perhaps go on a coffee date because it's quiet and there is enough seating, but it's also perhaps not the most social of spots, so I'd give it a four. So overall rating is a 16 out of 25. Now let's move on to spot number two. So now we're heading to another spot in about a block away, which is called Gather in New Haven. It is a new coffee shop that's only been open for two months, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. For coffee, I'd say that the rating is about a three. I would say traditional coffee is a little bit bitter and acidic, However, we did try one of the specialty coffees and I think that they have a really great assortment of different types of teas and options. So I would give it a three. For food, kind of the same with Coffee Peddler, I'd give it about a 2.5. There are options, but it's not a place that you would go specifically to eat. And then for aesthetic, I'd give it a three. They are a new business and just started and I think that it's great that they offer live events and other things that you can do socially. In terms of a study spot, I would say that it's about a three. It was a place that I would feel comfortable going and reading for long periods of time, but it isn't necessarily where I would go to do my writing or to stay all day. And then in terms of a social spot, I would say this is even a better social spot than many of the other places in New Haven due to the live events and other types of seating that they had available. And I would give it a three. Overall score is a 15.5 out of 25. Now we're at Coffee with a K, which is also in East Rock on State Street. And we're gonna go ahead inside. This is one of the best spots to hang out, especially as a graduate student, to get worked in as well as to hang out with friends. All right, so we are at Coffee with a K. And honestly, this is one of my favorite coffee shops in New Haven, so I might be a little bit biased, but I really think that it's one of the best places for one, a good quality cup of coffee, but also a really great spot to hang out with friends or get some studying done. It's also got a lot of different comfortable seating options, so it's a really good space for you to hang out long term. So for example, if you're writing a paper and you also want to be able to hang out with friends but you don't necessarily want to go to a library and you want easy access to coffee and some food, I'd say it's the perfect spot. In terms of ratings, Chanel and I gave the coffee a four and a half because the coffee quality is very smooth. I really like their traditional oat latte, but they also have a lot of different options. You can also come here to get a cocktail, so it honestly is the best place for you to come and stay throughout the day as well as get a little drink in the evening. And then for food quality, I would say it's about a four because there are options and there are things that you can get to have an actual meal, but I wouldn't say it's the best quality food of any of the coffee shops in New Haven overall. As far as aesthetic, I would say it's like four. It's got good music, it's got a good vibe, and I think it's a really good place for you to get work done with friends. It's not too loud which I think is especially important if you're a student. In terms of it being a good study spot, as you can see with all the students that were here today, I would say that this is a good solid four and a half. And lastly, social, I would say this is a great spot for you to come on a first date or for you to meet up with friends or catch up maybe even with your advisor. So I think it's a really good spot for you to come and hang out and get work done, but also potentially meet up with some friends. So definitely one of the best coffee shops on the list today. And I would give it a solid 21.5 out of 25. All right, now on to location number four, which is Atticus Bookstore and Cafe. So similar to coffee, this is one of my favorite spots in New Haven, so I think it's kind of biased, but I also had Chanel try the coffee and help me with the rating system. So I feel like it's mildly objective. <laughs> but in terms of coffee, I would say the quality is about a four and a half. The coffee here is incredible. They also have different flavors. They have specialty coffees, but they also just have really good classics. And food, definitely a five. They have a kitchen downstairs. It's a great place to grab lunch. I come here often when I'm heading off to class and I have about an hour to spare to get readings done and everything. In terms of aesthetic, because it is a coffee shop and a bookstore, I'd say it's definitely at least a four. And then for study spot, it's definitely a great place to come with your friends as well as on your own. There's plenty of seating and it's quite comfortable and quiet. So I would give it a four in terms of study spots. It's not somewhere where I would stay all day just because I don't have the most comfortable seating, but overall it is a really great spot to spend a couple hours. And lastly for social, 
social. I would give it a four and a half because I have come here for lunch with friends. They have really good food. They also are open later in the afternoon and evening. So if you wanted to come here and grab a late night coffee or a mid afternoon coffee with friends, it is the absolute best place to come. And it's also central because it's directly across the street from Yale. All right, now is the last stop on our coffee rating tour. We are stopping at Book Treaters, which again is both a coffee shop and bookstore, which is obviously a favorite of mine. So we're gonna head on in and check out their coffee and see what the ambiance is like. All right, so now we're at Book Traders and we went ahead and got the traditional oat milk latte. I would say that coffee quality here is pretty average. It would be about a 3.5 is what Chanel and I agreed on. In terms of food, they have a pretty wide food selection, which I think is good if you wanted to stick around for quite a while to get some studying done. And it's also a good place if you wanted to drop lunch with friends. In terms of aesthetic, I would say it's about a three because it's got the secondhand bookstore, which I think is the big selling point of book traders, but I wouldn't say it's like the most aesthetic place that you can go get your work done. In terms of study spots, it's got a lot of really great seating, both indoors and outdoors, so I'd say that is probably one of the better spots to actually get your work done. In which case I'm going to give it a four. And in terms of social, I would say it's about a three. It is a place where you could come hang out with friends. Well, I know a lot of undergrads come and hang out here, but it's not necessarily the spot that I would come. I would prefer to go to Atticus for coffee. So that is my rating. And the overall score is a 17.5 out of 25. And while we didn't put location as one of the factors, it is also very central to New Haven and to Yale. So Yale's literally directly across the street in which case it's a great place to stop in if you are looking to get work done in the middle of the day. And that is it for our rating. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you all so much for watching. Go ahead and let us know which coffee shop you prefer in New Haven and if there's any others that we should be trying as well as any other cities that you might like us to go rate some coffee shops. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.